how's it going? Kyle Dickinson, Senior Solution Architect with Threat Detection and Incident Response, sitting here live at reInvent 2022. I'm with my good buddy, how Brian, are you doing? Brian Terry, Senior Solution Architect for ISV Integrations. And if this is your first time joining us, welcome. We're here at reInvent 2022, and we're talking to the, some special guests. So we'll let them introduce themselves. Yep. Charles Burton, co-CEO for Tensor IoT. And Matt Lubli, Head of Sustainability at uh, Tensor IoT. Very cool. Awesome. So what is it that we're going to be talking about today? Because, uh, you know, it takes a lot to be up here, and uh, we want to hear what you got to say about some awesome stuff that you got going on. Yeah, and so we, it was just just announced that we're the AWS Sustainability Partner of the Year for, for North America, so just want to highlight all we're doing in sustainability, how we work with AWS and our customers to, to really go and build that out and really uh, produce the, the future and what, what it's going to look like. Too cool. Yeah, absolutely, and, and, and then the key areas that obviously we focus in on from a sustainability perspective and, and focusing with the AWS team and building 100% on AWS. Yeah, so yeah. Tensor, Tensor was started uh, five years ago and we started really in the IoT and machine learning space and so we're working with customers around how to build scalable solutions on AWS. We're an AWS exclusive partner. Right. Uh, all, our, all our developers are AWS certified. We've gone really deep on the technology so working directly with the, the service teams and with the AWS teams and building out solutions. So early on working with some of our customers in manufacturing we were focusing on things like uh, defect detection to reduce scrap and how to do like energy management, how to liberate data from the, the edge and start to make use of it to uh, improve optimization and, and automation. And then as we've gone and you know continue to grow with our customers, have gotten into data lakes and those sorts of things where it's, we found it was the natural progression into sustainability where it's we're already doing so much in terms of this uh, process automation and optimization. It was kind of a natural extension to go and look at it through a sustainability lens and really grow out. Yeah, I find that to be truly, truly cool. Because I think it's one of those points where we're really starting to look at, especially in our day and age, the sustainability, right? And to have technology kind of married with that, I think that's super awesome. So I, I'm excited about hearing more yeah. about this. So let, let's, let's talk a little bit about how this solution all kind of came yeah, together. Yeah, no, no, we really primarily focus in three areas. And, and the first one's carbon tracking and reporting, right? So carbon right. footprint framework that AWS has, right? And we help customers at where they're at in their journey, right? You see, right? Right now, I would say sustainability, if I was to, you know, paraphrase, it's in, the, in like the second inning, right, yeah. of a baseball game, essentially, because what you, what you see out there is that people are now forming sustainability teams. They used to have champions, right, but now with the edicts coming down from the board and CEOs and, and in the C-suite, right. that you need to have a sustainability program, you got to establish goals, and so we help customers, you know, when we go through a working backwards process with them, workshops, things of that nature, understand how do we match what your goals are with what your team is and kind of work towards an MVP product that's all, again, based on AWS services. So, so we really work hard on that and we, have, and we have different options that we can bring to customers. We've partnered with ISVs that are 100% on AWS. We can build from scratch, um, things of that nature. So I'm um, doing a ton on that front to help customers down that journey. But we also, we have a ton of customers that come to us already have a plan in place. They're working down some things. And they get into, let's say, scope three, and there's 15 categories, and they've got a, they need a little bit of help. They come to us, and we, we help them execute on those, and all of a sudden, what do you know? Can you help us with your roadmap? Can you help us go down this? Can you help us support us on this this, this progression? So that's that's one. The second one is, is um, uh, sustainable buildings. And we're, we're really focused on modernizing BMS, and so we've helped a lot of customers modernize that BMS, because that's really been a, an on-prem Right, tough to get data to the cloud. We're helping customers get that data to the cloud now so they can marry that with other data as well, right? And start to make more intelligent decisions. And then we couple that with sustainability from a, we'll call it a POC, POV kits, they're accelerator kits, right? Where you, you, you have a use case and you want to be able to say, hey, guess what? I think that I could lower my energy costs in this area, in this hotel, for example, yes. right? You've got restaurants and you've got the laundry, which probably consume the most amount of energy. Well, let's go scale that up and validate what that is, get the data in there, and then have a provable ROI that, that our customers can then take to their management to scale out, right? So low cost, really quick to be able to scale up and then you know, move forward with, uh, with the, the AWS services. And then lastly, yeah. sorry, we focus in on uh, manufacturing and supply chain. So yeah. long, t long practice, it's been around for, you know, we've been doing it for three yeah, plus the, years. The in a wide, of the company. Yeah, a wide, wide variety of, of uh, use cases. But, you know, John Trainer on our team, he's been doing it for three years, a great expert. And really, it focuses in on 
two things, manufacturing processes. So how can I help customers improve yields? Anytime we help them uh, improve yields, we're helping energy savings, decarbonization, because they don't have to buy as much in the supply chain. All of that starts to, to kind of dovetail into that. And then the second is, is asset performance. So on those manufacturing lines, how can we help them be more efficient in terms of energy consumption? And especially right? when looking at something like a manufacturing plant or a refinery or something like that, um, you're talking about technology that's been in place for literally almost hundreds of years. Yes that has been doing the same thing over and over again, but you're seeing they're modernizing the way that they go about their business to reduce waste, but also detect future failures before they happen, so they don't need to do a full turnover. Um, so the fact that you're taking you know, IoT and this data to one, make it more sustainable, two, to re reduce the uh, carbon emissions, that's incredible because you know, I, I come from a manufacturing background and just hearing um, that these factories are modernizing um, is incredible to detect that issues will happen before they happen so they don't potentially have an event, uh, but also they're also reducing their carbon footprint as well yeah. to be more eco-friendly, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, I'd say the, the pattern and how the cloud has really enabled and helped us accelerate this process and accelerate the journey is just, it used to be in manufacturing in these building management systems, all that data was siloed where it's maybe it existed, maybe nobody ever really was being able to take a look at it, but now that we're able to get it into the cloud, pull it into like a data lake or somewhere and then serve it out for a variety of different use case that that's what's really unlocked this capability. And then from there, that's where you can do that analysis of, oh, here are the adjustments we can we can go and make. And then just the, the other side of it is just in terms of improving that overall application architecture using things like serverless and on-demand so you know, you're not uh, running systems that don't need to be running, really optimizing that, that efficiency in the cloud using those tools. What would you say has been the biggest wow factor since you guys have started down this journey to help customers solve this problem uh, with modern technologies? Yeah, I would say some of, some of the, I guess for some of the biggest kind of wow factor that we, we typically see is just how much help they actually need and where they're at in, in the process, right? In terms of what we can go do, right? And we really like to try and meet the customer at where they're at right, in that journey, they may have all the expertise in the world and they may have all the, the people who can help go do that, but they need the guidance for us to help them go down that path in, in whatever, uh, uh, you know, vertical that we're focused in on. So I think the wow factor is just the, the sustainability in of itself is really gaining a ton of momentum. We're seeing a lot of people that need a lot of help and, it, and it's in a lot of different areas. And I think it goes, it goes cross-sectional, right? You kind of look at it from, hey, is this a vertical? Well, yes, it is a vertical, but it also is horizontal. It goes across manufacturing, buildings, right? You can just start to name them and you can start to look at where, hey, guess what? I can look at decarbonization or energy consumption savings, and right, that really builds a more sustainable future within those those OEMs and manufacturers. Yeah, and I'd say, I'd say for me, it's working with like AWS and Amazon's taking the lead on this, like we've seen the announcements in terms of yes. the, the water neutral, where it's just incredible smart people that we're working with in terms of, you know, they're creating the services that then we go and invest and spend the time to use to accelerate customers of, you know, AWS, we're working with folks on that side to really build out what this looks like and help edu educate customers on the process, and that's just going to continue to grow over the next few years. So we were assuming for a few minutes I had a crystal ball. What does the future look like for this? Your customers and what you guys are trying to build and, and how you're going to expand. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, I think from an expansion perspective, right, we're, we're looking at all the different technologies, working closely with the AWS and like the sustainability team, just a fantastic team to work with. And there's, there's multiple different teams, but we work with all of them and they're just fantastic and they're leading that edge, right? And we're looking just to, to, to be able to work with customers again where, wherever they're at, meaning, you know, hey, is it, do you guys want us to scale up? Right? Do you want us to support that? Do you guys want us to be in production with that? Do you want us to be an SI for you? Right? Hey, guess what? We're going to start putting out all these different um, sustainability-based sensors, and can you guys deploy those and support those in production for us? And then we also have some of the stuff that we're working on the the, the carbon footprint side of things. Right? Where again, we're partnered with with SI or, or with some ISVs to be able to start implementing what they have. If customers want to say, Hey, guess what? I just want to buy this solution. Can you guys help implement it for what I need? I, I kind of see that's that's where this is going in the next 12 to 24 months. Yeah, where, now, where can customers go to learn more about your company, what you're doing, and also, you know, for those that are in the industry, look to adopt your technologies that you're providing. You can head to tensoriot.com underneath the sustainability tab on Unused Industries, and they can get more, obviously, more information. And feel free to reach out to us uh, on our on our website. Awesome. Thank you so much for telling us. Yeah, Thanks for having time. Us. Thank All you. Right. Absolutely.
Well, thank you um, for being our special guest. And please stay tuned. There's more to come in AWS Grand Bank 2022.